Hi everybody, here's a super quick video to show you how to take to Design Space this uh, new SVG to cut a box which holds two 11 ounce mugs. Uh, so I'll just get it on the canvas. And there it is. Okay, so this is um, a multi-part file with score lines. So as always, the first job with a file like this is to convert those lines that come in as cuts, but which actually need to be scores. And in my files, they always live in this first subgroup at the top of your layers panel here. Um, if a SVG for a, a 3D thing with score lines has been cor created correctly, it should come in in three groups. So the whole SVG should be in one overall group. And then within that, there should be two subgroups, one that holds all your score lines, so they're quick and easy to convert, and another one which holds all the cuts. So the first thing we need to do, select that first subgroup. The name of it is the second line down in your layers panel. And if you just click on the name of it, that selects everything in the group. Then we go over to the operations menu, click on basic cut and choose score from the drop down menu and you can see that they've been uh, converted. Now I'll just zoom in a little bit. Um, while they're still selected like that, you need to ungroup them. So I'm using the desktop version. Ungroup is at the top of the layers panel. If you're on the mobile app, it's, it'll be in one of the rows at the bottom of your window. Second step is to select that second subgroup that contains all the cuts and don't worry that there are little groups within that. That's just where the little notches in the lid tuck in are attached to the to the main piece. You just click on the name of that second subgroup and all we need to do here is ungroup. And the third step is to select the whole thing. So you can do that a few different ways. You can use the select all button. You can drag a box around everything. Or you can just stick in your layers panel and just click on the name of that last group. And once everything's selected, just do the third ungroup. So with any multi-part SVG with score lines, you need to do three ungroups. And ideally in that order, score lines, cut pieces, the whole SVG. If you do it that way, nothing will jump around in the layers panel and get hidden behind anything else and it's just a, a much simpler way to do it so now everything's a separate uh, piece we need to attach the score lines to the pieces that they relate to otherwise when you click make it you'll see that you get your score lines on mats of their own and that's no good so the quickest way to select one piece is to click on canvas somewhere near it drag a box to enclose it and choose attach and again on the desktop version that's at the bottom of your, your layers panel and you need to do that for every piece on screen that's got score lines oops oh what did i do there there <laughs> we go okay so this box is it's pretty simple you've got the insert that your mugs sit in you've got the front and the side of the box and the back and another side of the box and then that's the acetate that just goes behind the opening to make the window so i'll press make it and see what it fits on this is a big box these boxes are quite big and um, it cuts in as few pieces as i can get it out of so the insert requires one sheet of a3 it's too big for 12 by 12 so you do need the long mat for this project i'll make that clear in the etsy listing as you do for these pieces now then let me just have a look yeah it's not going to let you choose a3 there so if you're in the uk and you're using a3 um you can absolutely cut it i'll go back and show you the size of it i've just made mine from a3 so i know it works yeah there's lots of room actually 40.7 that one so that's 407 millimeters well an a3 is 420 so you've got three mil to play with which is half an inch it's just nonsense that it tells you that it doesn't fit on it does so when you get to this point you're just going to choose a3 for your top one because that will and with these don't change anything just use your long mat as you have to put a3 on your mat in the usual way you don't even need to worry about where you're placing it and it will cut just fine from a3 so again you're going to leave it on that um it's actually 20, 12 by 24 it's telling you that you need you don't it will cut from a3 and then this this is just your acetate that will cut from a single sheet of a4 so three a3s and an a4 acetate sheet for the window okay that's it it's a pretty simple box really 
as with all my SVGs, you get a PDF of instructions to show you how to assemble it. Um, and if and if you want to get in touch, if you've got any more questions after you've looked at those, the links to do that are in the description below. And if you've just stumbled across this video and you'd like to buy the SVG, the link to do that is in the description as well. Thanks a lot. Bye.